Welcome to the New This Week episode for the week of December 21st. We're going to start off with Boogeyman from Ablaze, issue number four. Breakout, number four, last issue of the miniseries. I think we're nearing the end of this book, but we've got Berserker, number 11. We'd like to see the we'd like to see a movie of this come out. And I'd like to see it soon before Keanu Reeves is 106. Cover the Dead with Lime. Number three. This book is late. And then we've got a horror book, The Curse of Cleaver County, double feature. New number one from IDW, Dead Seas. Issue number five of The Deadliest Bouquet. And we're at issue number eight of Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer. Department of Truth, trade paperback, volume four. We've got Eve, Children of the Moon, number three. The all-new Firefly Big Damn Finale, number one. I think that's the front. Who knows? You can't really tell. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But the Big Damn Finale. Oh, there's a, this is a fun book coming out. Glad to see this guy still doing stuff. Um, he's about 312. Uh, Sergio Argone's Gru, Gods Against Gru, issue number one. Always a fun book. This is this is this is my pick of the week for stupidity, and it's gonna be great. This is one of my brother's favorite favorite books. He can't wait till a Gru book comes out. They come out very far and few in between now, and unfortunately. There could be a time in the near future we won't be seeing any more grooves. Let's hope he has it all drawn uh, before we solicit this, because there could be a chance next week we won't see number two. I mean, I think that guy's going to be old. But yeah, he was awesome from back in the mad days. And we've got Gun Honey number four, another, another fantastic book. And The Gunslinger number 15. Hitomi number three. And coming up is in the opinion of our great director right now of, of this behind the behind the scenes, Buffy. Um, the greatest book ever written. I hate Fairyland. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we've got a number one here called Junior from Scout Comics. And we get Junkyard Joe number three. This has been a very, very good seller. Chroma number two. Chroma number two. And we've got a Legacy of Violence, issue number three. And we go from the violence to My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic number one. And there's one here for ad for little fillies that will be coming out later this month. For you, Ken. We've got Mysterium number two from Source Point Press. This is a great, great homage cover uh, from Ninja Funk number two. Looks like a little Spider Gwen cover action there, except a little more risque. Some people come into the store here may call this, may call what this title could be, Road Trip to Hell, <laughs> issue number one. I disagree, but some of my friends think this is hell sometimes. One guy can be behind the camera right now, too, thinking that same thing. We've got Rogue Sun, issue number nine. And another great book by James Tynan, The Fourth. 
Uh, Something is Killing the Children, number 27. Sonic the Hedgehog, Scrapnik Island, number three. Got a Star Trek Strange New Worlds, issue number one. For all the Trek fans out there, this is a must read. I got that information from one of my Trek fans that, that, that were here that's that's here today. Stuff of Nightmares, number four. I think this may be, I think it's a miniseries. This could finish it off. I'm not sure, but this has been a, a great selling book, too. This may be the last issue. I'll have to look more into that. I mean, again, unprepared. <laughs> Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number three, The Saturday Morning Adventures. Another Ablaze book, Traveling to Mars, number two. True Cult, number five. From the great Donny Cates and uh, Ryan Stegman, Vanish, number four. Looks like we've got Voyages, number two. The Walking Dead, number 53. This is never going to end. <laughs> What's the furthest place from here? Number nine. And The Witcher, The Ballad of Two Wolves, number one. That's our independent stack this week. Hmm. I put the Marvel... I put the Marvel on top of the DC, and there's no reason why we should have to end on a total bad note, even though we're going to end with the next title. But... <laughs> I mean, who wants to end with 15 bad issues? So, we are got to go to DC now. We've got Batman's World's Finest, number 10. Nice cover, though. Just Batman. Well, I guess I'll include Superman in there, too. <laughs> I guess I guess he is part of the, part of the billing. We'll, we'll add him in. Batman and Superman. <laughs> Batman Urban Legends, number 22. We're not done. Batman vs. Robin, number 4. And in a surprise, another Bat-related book, Catwoman, number 50. Now, I think this finishes it. I hope there's no lingering books that come out of this. We've got Dark Crisis on Infinite Earth, number 7. Of seven. This is this is the end. Seems like it's been going on for longer than seven months, but I think it's been coming out on time. And we've got Deceased, War of the Undead Gods, number five. The Flash, number 789. And for a guy who runs fast, he seems like he got caught again. It's like every other issue, he gets caught. It's not a very, he's not a very good Flash. And if you don't get enough Flash and you need more, we've got a trade paperback also of them. You know, if, if you can't torture yourself enough with the one book, get the trade. Yeah. GCPD, The Blue Wall, number three. Harley Quinn, the animated series Legion of Bats, number three. Nightwing, number 99. One issue away from the Big 100. It's a little behind Scooby-Doo, though, because Scooby-Doo, where are you? It's, is at 119. And we've got Stargirl by Jeff Johns, issue number two. Probably worth a look at. Titans United, Blood Pact, number four. That ends it for DC. It was on a high note. And we'll bring it to Marvel. Very small week for Marvel. Very popular book. Alien number four. Keeps on, keeps on selling. 
Avengers Forever number 12. Black Panther number 12. If you're into the dark web, well, we've got the Gold Goblin number two. And some more dark web books. Mary Jane and the Black Cat. This could actually be a good book. Get those two together. We'll see. And we got another dark web book. We got dark web uh, Ms. Marvel number one. Excited for this book. This is one of my favorite characters in the history of in the history of comics. Namor the Submariner, Conquered Shores, number three. <laughs> I only like him when he has his little wings on his feet. And he's, he's got them. It's Sabretooth and the Exiles, number two. Written by a guy named Lavallee. Could be Tyler Lavallee. Or top shelf Troy Nelson, as we, as we call him around here. Or maybe not. Fantastic cover on this book. Spider-Man The Lost Hunt, number two. <laughs> now it's lost. Yeah, it's lost. It's lost. It's damaged. It looks like this is the one that I bring home tonight. <laughs> there you go. You gotta wait for that cover. I hope you I hope you do like it. Strange number nine. A cover of a book that if I looked at it, I'd never pick it up to even try to look into it and, and, and read this. Wakanda number three. I did I don't know. I would I was I would expect Shiri, you know, with the Wakanda movie. I mean I suppose it's Killmonger, but doesn't doesn't do it. And this isn't a good cover either. Um, Wolverine number twenty eight. And we're going to finish off this lackluster week with X-Men Annual number one. Can't be a lackluster week. I Hate Fairyland came out this week. That's true. That's true. It, it, is, it, it is buff words. The greatest book ever written. So, yes, it isn't a lackluster week. Uh, we do have I Hate Fairyland. But um, that's it. This is our... This is our Christmas, uh, our Christmas episode. <laughs> really wasn't that good, <laughs> um, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys all have a merry Christmas and a safe holiday, and we'll do it again next week.